Okay, so um, what the question asks you to do, uh, what a tree diagram does is it represents all the possibilities that could happen when you do something. All right, and in this occasion, it's tossing a coin three times. So imagine this here is your coin, then when you toss it, the possible outcomes for that is a head or a tail. Okay, they're the only two possibilities. And so, in a way, this is tossing the coin number one. This is the first time you toss the coin. And they're the possible outcomes that could happen. But they say you're doing it three times. So after you've got a head, you're picking that coin up again and you're tossing it again. And on this occasion, it could be a head or a tail. Okay. If it finished as a tail, it landed, you pick it up, you flick it again, what could it be? Or, or a tail. And so that constitutes, through there, that constitutes tossing the coin number two, the second time you toss the coin. Okay? And then obviously along here, this constitutes tossing that coin a third time, which is what the instructions of the question are. Okay? And of course, pick it up and it says a head, you pick it up and flick it and it does a head again, then the possibility is a third head or a tail, a head or a tail, a head or a tail, a head or a tail. And so what this is here is a bit of a diagram describing your three tossings of the coin. They're all the things that could happen. So if I gave you a coin and said, there you go, Ellen, there you go, Jess, toss that coin three times. It could come out as a head, a head, or a head. A three, yes. And what this column is, is really all the possible outcomes of that experiment. All right? So it could come out a head, a head, and then a head. It could come out a head, a head, and a tail. It could come out as a head, tail, head. It could come out as a head, tail, tail. Or it could come out a tail, head, head. Come out as a tail, head, tail. Could come out as a tail, tail, head. And it could come out as a tail, tail, tail. Okay, so when you toss a coin, it could have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It could have eight possible outcomes. No more, and it couldn't have any less. Then what they'll ask you is simple questions like, what's the chances of getting all heads? The chances of getting all heads is only one out of eight possible outcomes. And so the probability of getting all heads is one out of a possible eight chances. All right? Is that okay for you in terms of explaining what a tree diagram represents? Of course, if you're rolling a die, it could come out as one two, three, four, five, six, okay? And so you have your six, and then the next one could come out, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and what it becomes is you've got to spread them out nicely on your page so that you don't get too confused, and that's what I was talking about earlier. So tree diagrams, uh, what they do is they uh, display an experiment that you do. From there, you can calculate all the possible outcomes and what they look like, and then you answer questions like this. Okay. For example, what's the probability of getting two tails? Jess, what's the probability of getting two tails when you do this tossing of the coin three times? What's the possibility of getting two tails? Okay, so two, you'd say this one? Yeah. This one? This one, and you just need to understand that sometimes they'll call it this one as well. There's at least two tails there, yeah. but I didn't ask at least two tails. I said, what ones have got two tails? So there's one, two, and three. Yeah, okay. Yep, yep. So that becomes the probability of that is three over eight. Three chances. And remember, last lesson I think I put up uh, the number of the question being asked divided by the total possibilities or the total outcomes in there as well. Yeah, is that alright? Yeah. Okay. So we're looking at question 5, exercise 9E. And where we've gone is on this tree diagram. And, and this was uh, pretty easy. Uh, 
um, in terms of you're just tossing a coin. There was only two possible outcomes every time you toss. That was all right. Uh, the issue will uh, come apparent when uh, it might be, uh, say, uh, getting marbles out of a hat. Okay. Let's just do a tree diagram for um, two blue marbles and one black marble. I uh, won't use the same B letter, sorry. I'll change that to uh, one green. All right, so there's one blue marble, one green marble, and they're in a bag, all right? And you're gonna take, you're gonna do two picks. You're gonna do two picks out of there, okay? So your marbles are here, okay? And you're going in, you're diving in, and you're, and you're trying to take uh, a marble out. What are the outcomes possible? You could get, a blue, a blue, or a green on that first take, couldn't you? Let's look at that bag, visualise it, okay? So this is, uh, and you're doing two takes. So th this is outcome of the first take. You can get a blue, a blue, or a green, okay? And then what could you get on your second take when you go in? You could get a blue, blue, or a green. So blue, blue, green, blue, blue, green, and you could get blue, blue, green. Okay? And so this is your second take. And then, like you were saying before, Ellen, you'd list all the outcomes, and that would be blue, blue. There, blue, 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 green. This would be blue, blue. The bees aren't coming out very well. Blue, 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 blue. Because I'm there now. Blue, green. And then the outcomes here would be green, blue, green, blue, and green, green. Go through that quickly. Are you sort of okay with that? Ellen? No, I'm sort of not sort of okay. Nervous yet? Yeah. Yeah, you're obviously not cool with that. Um, the, the challenge will come is in question five when they say, you take a marble from that bag but you don't replace it. Okay? That becomes the challenge. And that is question five, really. So question five says, two people are selected without replacement, so you're not replacing them, yeah, from a group of three, and there's Donna, represented by D, Earl, rep represented by E, and uh, Fernando, represented by F, and it says list all the outcomes. So when you first select them, it could be Donna, it could be Earl, or it could be Fernando. Cool name. It could be those people, yeah? But if it is Donna, you're not replacing Donna's name. So the next possible outcome reduces to two. You start with three. This reduces to two now. And it can't be Donna again because you're not replacing her. So what would these outcomes here be, Jess? Earl and Fernando, you just wanted to say their name. <laughs> Rather than E or F. What could the outcome be here, Ellen? D or F, and the outcome here uh, would be D or E. So then the possible outcomes are D, E, D, F, uh, E, D, or E, F, F, D, or F, E. Alright, so you can see that when you don't replace something, that's when the mix becomes different. If we go back to the marbles and said, but you don't replace one, this is how it'll differ, and I'll do it in a different colour. This is how it'll differ. You've got your three marbles, and the first chance is to take a blue, a blue, or a green, but you're not to replace them. So if you're not to replace them and you pick out the first blue, the only chances you've got is a blue or a green, 
The only chances you've got is a blue or a green. The only chances here you've got is just a blue or a blue. So your outcomes are blue, 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 green, blue, 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 green, green, blue, or green, blue. Notice how your outcomes have reduced in possibilities just by not replacing one marble. The whole thing changes, doesn't it? And so um, if the question was, how many chances are you, of, or what's the probability of getting blue, blue? What's the chances of getting blue, blue there, please, Jess? And Ellen, what's the chances of getting blue, blue there, please? What's the, what's the difference? Does it change your results, it'll be interesting. Five chances there out of a possible Two over six, which is one third. 